I am Lynn and today I'm talking about the Ukraine invasion. This was a very concerning email that someone had sent to me and asked me to look at it. So I wanted to pull that question for today. And the email said, hi, Miss Lynn, do you want to do a reading on the possible Russian invasion of Ukraine? One thing we know is that it's not going to be a world war as the US and European allies are planning on severe economic sanctions. So they look or suspect that that is the way that this will be fought. So before I go in to look at this, please go in and hit the like button. I really appreciate it and it helps my channel grow. So without further ado, here we are. Reading itself, definitely touchy topic. And right now I see our world, it looks like a chessboard. When I tune into our world and I pan out and I really get perspective, it feels and looks like a chessboard. Each country is seeing where they fit in, what strategy they need in order to survive. This We're in survival mode right now. Different areas have different concerns, whether it's economic, political, social unrest, social division amongst the people, the beer bug, or a combination of the above. And most people have a lot more than just one of those things going on right now. There's a few countries that are using that distraction to their advantage and seeing this as an opportunity with tensions already high and many looking to get through the day people are distracted by entertainment and not paying attention to what is really going on in the world they aren't worried about all this other little stuff which is intentionally put in our path to distract us not only are the governments slowly converting to a more socialist mentality some governments are looking to expand china is a country to watch as well as Russia, both have their sights on growth and also obtaining one of the most precious commodities that cannot be replaced. What is that? Land. You can't replace time and you can't really replace land. Those are two valuable, valuable things, more than diamonds, gold, all of that. And they are looking to get land. Ownership in land allows more room for growth and bigger domain to rule and more opportunity to grow food and extract natural resources. That is going to be a key to the future. Do they have enough places to grow food or are they going to biologically manufacture it? I think it's going to be a hybrid of the both, but growing food, that is going to be a luxury like we don't even appreciate right now. I get that Russia thinks that this land on this Eastern Ukraine area belongs or is entitled to them. I see that they feel it was stolen or allocated in some way that was just not right. They want to recapture it. And this has been on their to-do list for a long time and different tactics have been used. Some are subtle like trade, barter, influence, you know, trying to slowly weasel their way in in such a way that they hope to sort of slowly take over like a very passive takeover, almost like if you occupy or walk or roam an area for long enough you own it and this is not working and they want something more drastic i see this as a passive aggressive war that's going to be met with sanctions it's going to be met with trade route you know blockages even seizing of some assets it's going to get ugly definitely with what china's doing and with what russia is doing here I get that troops are going to pile up and even slowly try to push the border back. I do also get that there's going to be boots on the ground to keep things somewhat under control, but this will be a very slow fought and very tactical war that has been being played for a while now. It's going to seem to be more aggressive and more in people's faces, uh, maybe even more so on news, most likely alternative news. However, yes, you're going to start to feel and hear more about all this. Watch for tensions in this area of the world to rise, absolutely, because this is far, far from over. And that was all I had on this reading. Please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know, you know, what have you come across? What news stories have you heard regarding all this of what's going on or what, what's your intuition telling you? So with all that being said, I will leave you with that. Please don't forget again to please like my channel, share my videos. We're trying to grow this community and i love the community that we already even have so welcome on board if you're not a part of it yet again i'm lynn with psychic focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com thank you bye